So welcome to the second teaser for the edition two of Takaaki Matsumoto's Steps to the Discovery of Electronuclear Collapse. And I just wanted to show you how we have a number of other ways in which the edition two will be vastly improved. So we looked at some images yesterday that were in the book which were completely unreadable. Um, here is a diagram which is readable but you don't know what you're missing until you see what is in the Matsumoto archive and this is kind of what we have in the Matsumoto archive. Okay so firstly you've got color here uh, much clearer on the labeling here and what I didn't almost realize when I was putting this together is you've got a 20 millimeter scale here and you know it's a little bit of an effort to work out what all these components scales are from this uh, however on here you can actually see that the original was laid out on graph paper with the 20 millimeter scale spanning four of the subsections here so each one of these is five millimeters and so it becomes extremely easy to work out the scale of everything involved in this experiment. Also, whereas you've got the nice pencil sketching going on in here, it's just a few squiggly black lines and you, you don't know whether that's just a bad mistake that's gone on, but you can actually see the context here. Um, you can also kind of see uh, the sort of fluid level in here very clearly. So this is really rather nice. Now not only have we got improved schematics but when you come to this paper here observation of mesh like traces on nuclear emulsions during cold fusion uh, we have a, a schematic here of the experiment which, which, which is pretty clear you can see the scale you can see you know the water level and everything but understanding how this is actually laid out is made far far clearer when you get to see the photographs of the actual apparatus and so you can see here this incredible detail in the photograph okay so where he's got a thermocouple coming out here over here you can literally see the thermocouple leads coming out and it's very very detailed you can see the lead bricks down here and you can see that the nuclear emulsions, which were a, a whole stack of them in here, are underneath the experiment and surrounded by lead bricks. So extreme details. Lastly, sometimes when you see a detail like this, this coil here of platinum, it isn't actually like that in the real experiment. This is what it's like. It has this coil, which is, you know, essentially the same thing, but it's not really the same thing, is it? So you can see a close-up here of the apparatus here, and there is the coil as it was in the real thing.